around 2002, so it's been six years already. And this is the fourth year of the Galim Surfing Contest, so we, uh, we did the first contest after tsunami here. Yeah. And it got better each year, and, and is this the best? Or not? Right, it's about 150 surfers for this year, and surprise me, it's like uh, we have the entry from the internet about 180 something, and then I have to say sorry to them that because we don't have enough room for them this year, it's getting popular now. So it is certainly the best in numbers. What about the quality of the surfing and the conditions? Right, uh, for the local surfer, they get better and better every year. You can you can see very easily. They can do a 360, and that I never seen before in the contest. All the Thai guy can do like a international pattern turn or something like that. And then we have uh, some international surfers can share their experience with the Thai surfer. Like uh, they're from Australia, from uh, America, from Hawaii. Yeah. In, the, in the, the wave height, it looks pretty impressive. I mean, uh, can you measure these waves? I can say we're really lucky because before the contest is totally flat, nothing. Uh, the waves start build the side on Wednesday and Thursday. We uh, Thursday is really, really big. And this will drop a little bit on the first day of the contest because of the rain, the very windy on Friday. We have contest on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday getting better. The wave is about three, four foot, but today we have four, six foot and it's clean. Right. No wind, no rain, it's very good weather. It's almost perfect, almost the best you can have. Yeah, yes, yeah, like contest of the year. Yeah, you can see. It's very perfect. Very good clean. luck or good timing then? Yes, yes. Yeah, because of our heart, you know, many people in the club, they, they would like to enjoy, yeah. Maybe but, God knows. <laughs> good. The first, tell us about the divisions then. The first one we saw was the longboard. Tell us about those competitors. Uh, yeah, we just done for the final for the longboard. We have uh, the guy from Kamala, uh, Dean Robinson from New Zealand, uh, Ko from Qatar, and uh, Shalom from Patong. Yeah, it's perfect, right? Because we have the guy from each beach, and then they be together and one phalanx. Good. The longboard and is when they have more than eight foot, is it? Right, right. So. Those are good for these conditions, the longboard? Yes, yes, yeah, sure. This is uh, pretty good for longboard. They can ride long wave and very perfect wave. And some of them look like they're almost getting into this tube. You call it the when the, the wave comes over the top. Uh, right, uh, Kalim wave can produce tube every year. If you're lucky, you can get into the tube. It's really great. But have the competitors been able to do that? Oh, uh, yes, yesterday. Yeah, they, they, some is done. Yeah, we, they got the, the big point from the judge. The judges, yeah, how do they judge it? How do they give more points? Uh, we give the we give them in the, in the heat about 15 to 20 minutes and then they can serve 10 waves and then we point them and then we choose three best waves at and then sum the point, uh, we need two of them to go to the next round. Okay. Right. How do you think, do you think the Thais have won that particular long board or will the New Zealand guy have won it, do you think? I feel, I feel confident with Thai, Thai guys. I think they did really good. Yeah. Now we got the kids. You call them the Groms. Why the Groms? Oh, it's Lang. It's from Gromet. You know, it's someone that you can, hey, buy me the coffee or something. Yeah, they, yeah we call it Groms. It's the self slang. Okay. Yeah. It's just for the youngsters. Tell us about Right. We limit on the age about 14 this year. And we have two Groms from Malaysia. And then they can go to the final heat. They impress me. They serve really good. It's first time for them that go out of the country and enjoy us. Right. How old are they then? It's one is ten. One is about fifteen. No, no. Sorry, one is ten. One is about twelve. If okay. you have been not, not wrong. <laughs> and the other two, boy Loma and John Catter. Uh, boy is from Patong. Yes, he is a Thai boy, and John is from Kata. So what do you think of their chances in this one? Uh, let's see, maybe Boy, Boy and Didak from Malaysia, both of them serve really good. Yeah. Do you think it's difficult for them? They're much smaller and obviously smaller boards too. In these uh, 
Actually, the wave is too big for them, a little bit. Some said it's uh, very big for them. So we have the jet ski standby for the safety reason, and then we have the beach guard uh, standby for them. From the overdraw of the Phuket Provincial Administration. Right, right, right. And, and this is quite a sort of uh, dangerous place at low tide, isn't it? Because you have lots of coral underneath. Well, right, when super low tide, you can see the sharp rock here. And it's for experienced surfer only here when low tide. So you need you need more be careful about this. So People get hurt every year. So if you're going to come surfing, you should come here at high tide. Uh, yes, high tide, mid tide, better. Yeah. And also, of course, this is full moon time. So is that the best time when the tides are more straight? Uh, right. Normally, on the full moon, the tide is quite high, and then we will have something to surf for sure. Because we we setting the date like two three months before, so we have to make sure that it's on high tide. At least we have some wave. Yeah. And then you've got the open final coming up. Uh, is that the main sort of category, top one? Would you say? Right, right. This is the open shortboard division, very popular one. Yeah. How short? Uh, we limit about seven foot here, but most of the guys they serve about six foot to six foot five inch here. It's and perfect for the web who get. Yeah. Who are the four finalists in that? Uh, we have Shalong. Michael from... Uh, Michael Anthony from Australia. He served really good. He's 55 years old already. But he's still good, healthy. And two from Kamala. Uh, Pun from Kamala and Ibni from Kalim. He's local. Kalim. Yeah. Kalim, so he'll be the favorite. Yes, yes. He's used to the conditions. Yes, yes. The Kalim people are going to be happy if he wins. But at least he, he, he requests something because he go into the final. We have a uh, full prize. Yes. Right. You've got more sponsors this year, more prizes? Yes. Uh, now we have attention from the government and big sponsor. I'm really glad. Yes. So it'll get bigger and bigger each year? Yes, yes, of course. Will it be the same time next year for this one? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, on July, but we we not set the date yet. And this year we have something new about kite surfing. We have uh, two kite surfing, Thai kite surfer, uh, the number one and number two from Pattaya. They come and demonstration yesterday about kite surfing. We probably set up the contest next year together, kite surfing and surfing.